We've had several viewers who have mentioned, I want to fine tune my rear shifting using the barrel adjuster, either on the down tube or on the rear derailleur, but they seem to be at their limit and I can't turn them. Uh, another viewer mentioned, I just installed a new cable and I can't get it to shift properly. Proper shifting is called indexing, and we're going to show you how to index your rear derailleur such that you can use the barrel adjustments for fine tuning. With your bike on your bike stand, make sure you shift to the smallest chain ring and the smallest cog. Release the pinch bolt on the rear derailleur cable until the cable is nice and loose. Turn the barrel adjuster on the rear derailleur all the way in or even if it's already all the way in, then turn it. I can turn it about a third of a time with my fingers each time, so it's about one, one and a half turns out. That is counterclockwise. Now on your rear derailleur, turn the barrel adjuster all the way in, and then go ahead and turn it out. My fingers saying turn it out about a third of a time each time until it's about a full one and a half turns out. Now let's pull on the derailleur cable under the pinch bolt, pull it firmly, but not with Gorilla Force, and we'll tighten the pinch bolt. Now turn the crank and shift to the next largest cog. If it doesn't quite go into the cog, you may have to push a little bit on the derailleur itself to get it into the next largest cog. Now here's where the trick comes in. Without turning the crank, we will shift it in the front to the smallest cog. Holding the cable, holding the cable firmly, Loosen the rear pinch bolt. Take any slack out of the cable. Tighten. Go ahead and turn the crank so it shifts into the smallest cog. Now we're ready to use the barrel adjusters to fine tune the shifting. Before we run through the gears and see how they are working, let's talk about the rear derailleur and the cable and how they work. The rear derailleur has a spring in it that tends to pull it to the smallest cog while the cable tension tends to pull it outwards towards the larger cog. So we want to balance these two to get smooth indexing or shifting. If you notice any hesitation in shifting to a larger cog Go ahead and turn the barrel adjuster out about an eighth of a turn at a time. Until we get some nice crisp shifting. If you notice any hesitation, shifting to a smaller cog means the tension is too great on the cable. We need to loosen the tension by turning the cable barrel adjuster in for about an eighth of a turn at a time until we get nice snappy shifting. Remember if you don't have a barrel adjuster on the rear derailleur there's probably one on your down tube or up near your shifters themselves that you can adjust. Now our indexing is all set. Our barrel adjusters are all ready if we need to make any minor adjustments out on the road or at home and we're ready to rock and roll. If you have any additions please comment below, subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.